How to remove Instagram bad videos. Connecting with people on Instagram is usually fun and simple. The platform allows you to interact with accounts from all over the world. You can meet interesting people that can show you new ways of thinking, maybe even try new things. But sometimes, those accounts connect with you for the wrong reasons. Today, we'll talk about what happens when a compromising video is posted on Instagram and how to remove it. What happens to my nudes after I send them on Instagram? Okay, now let's talk about what happens to your nudes after you hit send, because that's really trickier than you think. Meta introduced new features to blur photos or even warn you before sending a nude. Why? Because of the thousands of reports they have gathered regarding this issue. Even if you send the nudes to a person you trust, there are thousands of stories of leaked content by friends. On the darker side, if you encounter a fake account with an online blackmailer or sextortionist, they might use that content you shared to extort you. And if you don't pay, well, one out of three victims can tell you that they were leaked. Do you have any stories or comments regarding this? Share them in the comments below. Reporting a compromising video to Instagram If a compromising video of you has been posted on Instagram, here's how you can report it. 1. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner of the post or profile that posted it. 2. Select Report 3. Select Harmful Content or Nudity 4. Provide a detailed explanation to the Instagram support team. Once they have your report, they will analyze the content and remove it if it breaks any of their policies and rules. How to remove content on Instagram Meta recently partnered with the NCMEC's TakeItDown.com tool. Here you can upload a picture of yourself and it will look online for the content. Once it shows you examples of what it found, you can prompt it to delete it. This tool has proven to be remarkably effective, yet it's an unexplored resource for many. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button for more advice, tips, and tricks to fight and prevent digital crimes. Legal Resources Available When it comes to legal advice, there are a lot of avenues you can explore. We talked about one, which was reporting to the platform. Now it's time to go to the Law Enforcement Cybercrime Unit and report it to them as well. You can explore talking to the FBI's IC3 if you feel the case requires it. You can also talk to a lawyer who knows about cybercrime and cyber rights. Finally, gather as much evidence as possible, take screenshots, save emails, and log any conversation you had with the perpetrator on any app you used. What other legal options do you know of? Let us know in the comments below. What Digital Investigation Does at Digital Investigation, we can help with evidence gathering, but more than that, we'll make them go away for good. We kick things off with a thorough interview to devise the best strategy against the perpetrators. Our advanced technology allows us to pinpoint and identify those hiding behind screens. We work tirelessly to remove any compromising material from all devices and accounts associated with the threat. Our efforts to ensure peace of mind in our cease and desist letters mean you'll stop hearing from these criminals. With a decade of experience and a 95% success rate, we've got your back 24-7. Call us at 800-790-4524 or chat with one of our experts at digitalinvestigation.com for a free consultation and dark web checkup. How to secure your Instagram account Now that you know how we can help you out, let's talk about protecting your Instagram. Start by enabling two-factor authentication. It adds an extra layer of security. Regularly update your password and make sure it's strong. Use a mix of numbers, letters, and symbols. Review your privacy settings and limit who can see your posts. Lastly, be cautious about third-party apps that request access to your account. Always log out of them and try to read their terms and conditions. You might just be letting them sell your information as well. Conclusion to wrap things up, remember that digital safety is crucial. Whether it's reporting unwanted content or securing your account, every step counts. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Share your questions or tips. Together, we can create a safer online environment for everyone. Thank you for watching and stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video.